Hey, what is going on guys? This is SME Beer Reviews, and today we're taking a look at the newest studio album from Judas Priest, Firepower. Let's get to it. This album, honestly, I mean, Judas Priest has always been a very good band. I mean, they've always been a pretty well critically acclaimed band, from my understanding, and I like them too. I've never really delved super deep into their catalog, but I have listened to some of their stuff, like British Steel. I have listened to that album. And so, going into this album, I wasn't expecting quite as heavy metal as this was. And that, I think, I'm gonna, I feel like it's more, uh, contributes to the new advancements in technology, rather than just their style. But there is a, still a little bit of their style that's become a little more heavy metal than hard rock. It was definitely still a little metal-ish, but it was much more towards a hard rock sound during, like, British Steel and those earlier albums. Uh, Screaming for Vengeance, I'm pretty sure, is the other one that I've listened to. Um... And, yeah, it definitely, it sounds, those sounded much more hard rock, not as much metal. This one is much more metal, but I, some of it I do attribute just to the better production sounds and the better recording capabilities that are available than probably, or than were available at the time. I think it just allows it to have much a much more rich feel, and it allows music to be much more heavier than it could have been. But it's still definitely a style switch up. It definitely was still hard rock, and now they've trans transitioned a little more to metal. And I don't know when this transition happened. Uh, again, those are the two primary albums I've listened to. Um, eh, but it does sound like uh, much more metal. And honestly, it is really good. The lead singer, while their vo uh, his voice is definitely deteriorating, is still good. He some songs are excellent. Some. A little awkward, especially in the higher register when he's really having to like grip his voice hard to try to hit some kind of note or just some kind of style of singing. It kind of falters off, but for the most part, his voice is actually still pretty firm and can sing pretty well. I mean, he still can hit some higher notes and some and has a really powerful baritone sound. It is really good. Furthermore, the instrumentation, excellent. I mean, honestly, every instrument is really good. Excellent solos just really good soundscapes that are created with the music, and the production really helps too. It's very clean, and it really lets each instrument have its own element and sound to it. None of it really gets washed away in the mix, maybe the bass sometimes, but even then, it definitely allows each instrument to stand out in its own right. Throughout the whole album, while I don't feel like it's really a concept, it, there definitely is themes and topics that are suggested about war, and the tragedies of war, and just the, the general aspect of it. And it really... I like that. I, I think it's a very good concept that is explored, but I feel like not to a cliched point. And I feel like there's a lot of interesting takes you can take on war. And I really like it. I mean, for a lyrical standpoint, while not all these songs are the most enriching songs, they all do their purpose, and I really don't have any complaints with them. No high praises, but no complaints by any means. But I do have some complaints, unfortunately. And it, it, I've said so much good about this album. Here's a problem. Some of the songs just kind of blend together. And that's not to say that, that it's weak hooks or something. No. Some of these songs can be kind of catchy when you're listening to them, and I know, again, that's not the goal of, like, heavy metal or anything, but some of these songs are very catchy and fun to listen to, and, and I do actually enjoy them. Problem is, is that they're just not memorable. They all kind of just mesh together in your head, and so it's kind of hard for me to remember them until I actually get into the song, push play, and get through the chorus a couple times. It's not a huge complaint, because, as I said, the instrumentation, production, vocals, lyrics, all good. It's just... There's nothing really here that I can just pinpoint and say is amazing, or, or a really terrible song. They they just don't really have some really awesome songs or really bad songs. It just... And it's not because they're just neutral. They are actually really good instrumentation. It's just because all of the guitars and all of the sounds kind of sound the same. They all kind of blend together. It all just becomes a little less memorable because all the guitars are that chunky, heavy metal sound. And there's not really that good diversification, which kind of keeps some songs from ever really standing out from the rest. Ironically, probably the best and worst tracks are the last two tracks. Lone Wolf is just incredibly repetitive. I just cannot enjoy that song. I feel like the melody in that song is not very good and kind of obnoxious, really. And then it's followed by Sea of Red, probably the one track that actually stands out because it's not a very either mid-tempo to fast-tempo heavy metal song. It's slower, and it still uses those heavy metal elements in it, 
but it's good. I really do like it. It's not because I dislike heavy metal. I think that there's a lot of merit in a lot of the music, and while it's probably not my first choice to listen to, I still really do enjoy a lot of it, and even this album I do really enjoy. But I think this one stands out because it actually sets itself apart from the rest, where it's all pretty quick play paced guitar solos and really chunky guitar sounds. I think that's where that song stands out, Sea of Red. It just it's the one track that's different and mixes thing things up and that's why I enjoy that track. I mean, and some of the songs just kind of drag. I, I guess that'd probably be the only other complaint. They just kind of overstay their welcome because a lot of these tracks are four to five minutes, something over that. Uh, sea of Red is over six minutes, I believe, but it's good. I, I actually think that works all together. Some of the tracks are just so incredibly long and it does get extremely repetitive. Ultimately, though, this is a good album. Like I said, production, vocals, lyrics, instrumentation, all of it. It's really good, and I really like some of the concepts here, too. Some of the topics that are brought up. I just... It, it's really hard to choose specific songs from this album that stand out. By listening to this album front to back, there's just nothing here that really makes me go, Wow, listen to this because it all kind of blends together. So it's really a 45-minute, wow, listen to this, but it, it all kind of gets blended together and kind of just gets boring by the end, which I, I do really enjoy this album. I do think it has a lot of merit. I just can't give it a really high rating or anything because nothing really stands out. The elements alone are good, but when put into a hole, it just doesn't really work. If I was ranking each one, of, or like talking about each one of these singles, or each one of these songs, individually, not listening to them at the same time, probably they'd all do very well in a ranking system, but when they're all put together, the whole it just doesn't work. The part works, the whole just doesn't really. So unfortunately, that's why I have to give this album a 7 out of 10. But what did you guys think? Please let me know down below. Do you have any suggestions to improve my, my content, the, the production that I do? or just any albums that you'd like me to check out that are coming out soon, please let me know. Besides that, thank you all so much. It really does mean a lot that you watch my videos, and I'll see you guys later.